Hi, this is Mark Cook for Kip Planes Magazine. Welcome to another factory tour. We're here at Vans Aircraft in Aurora, Oregon. See a Vans RV-10 behind me. We're gonna go inside and see what uh, makes this company tick. It's a very interesting mix of old and new technology, old and new machines, and uh, they produce a terrific product. So let's go take a look. We're here in Vans Aircraft area where they keep all the finished parts that are gonna go into a kit, which you'll see packaged up in a minute. This is kind of the end of the line for components that have been uh, produced elsewhere on the facility and will either go into a kit uh, in a box as a kit is a, a slow build kit as we call it for regular consumers or some of these may end up getting packaged and sent overseas where the quick build components are made. For some of the more modern kits like the RV-12 we're seeing here, uh, the first thing you may see of your airplane is not metal but a wood box and inside that box you'll find a collection of uh, sheet aluminum parts. Now this is for an RV-12 kit and this funny little piece, which is a W1204D, hard to kind of figure out what it is until you're building the airplane. It's actually a wingtip. Pretty cool design. Uh, the guys at Vans here are really good at piecing together all the parts so they get to you without any damage and actually in kind of some semblance of order as you're building. Uh, this is obviously a complicated part. It comes from a complicated machine, which we're going to go into the next room and see right now. One of the technologies that has revolutionized the kit industry is something called match hole tooling. It comes as part of CNC punches and very accurate punching of aluminum sheet. What Vans does is they produce a part that has these, these holes already very accurately placed. And when they're mated with their other components for the airframe, they can only go together one way. So basically, you can Clico the airplane together. You don't need a jig. You don't need a fixture of any kind. And the parts can only go together one way. And once they're all assembled, it guarantees the alignment of the entire assembly. The match hole tooling gives you some other benefits as well. They even go to the trouble of putting to, uh, little holes in for the nut plates that you're going to be putting in later on. It gives a lot more accuracy uh, to the part, and it gives a lot more confidence to the builder who doesn't have to sweat the big stuff. This is the machine among three that Vans has that works at punching metal components and really put the company on the map in terms of streamlining the production process and making more accurate parts. Basically, the machine has a collection of tools that can punch a number of different sized and shape holes. It can also trim edges. It can work on pieces as large as the belly pan for an RV-7 to as delicate as a little reinforcing strip that the builder will snip apart when he starts working on the kit. The accuracy of these holes is to about a thousandth of an inch, which really helps the uh, not only the accuracy of the part, everything fits together and it makes the builder's uh, chore a lot easier. We've seen how the CNC punch can turn a sheet of aluminum into a piece of artwork, but there are also a lot of bent parts in a kit. This is a modern equivalent of, of a bending brake. It's computer assisted, does a lot of different forms, uh, and is really one of the more modern pieces of equipment here in the, in the company. Well, it wasn't always this way. And here's Ken Scott to tell us a little bit about the history of Vans. The, the manufacturing capability we've seen today is, is a culmination of many years of learning, of, of development. It wasn't always this way. We started out uh, cutting parts out, guys sitting around cutting them out by hand. Uh, a lot of the manufacturing go around tools we consider primitive today. The reason we have the capacity and the space and the skilled people that we have today is the, the growth of the company has been driven by the product. To Van's concept of total performance, uh, we have airplanes that do many things well, satisfy a lot of people, we sell airplanes worldwide into many different markets and they work for everyone. One of the things we're proudest of is what we call repeat offenders. People that have come back and built two or three or four of our airplanes. We, we could fool them once, but they'd never come back and spend that amount of money and time on our product again if they weren't happy with the first one. Part of Van's total performance mantra involves listening to the market. And the quick build kits you see here, this is a fuselage for an RV-8, is really a manifestation of the company's desire to cut a lot of time out of the build process. This is actually made up of components that started here as punch skins, sent overseas, assembled, brought back here, and they form a, a real head start to a lot of the kit componentry that you'll be working with. So we've seen Vans Aircraft Manufacturing. I think what you have to take away from this is there's a, a real company behind this product. Uh, 65 people, give or take, uh, and a lot of people working here came to the company because they love the airplane so much. Uh, but I think the real success for the company is a combination of total performance from the airplanes, a good kit, excellent support, and a wide customer base that really helps explain why Vans is really the dominant player in the kit aircraft market. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tour. I'm Mark Cook for Kit Plains Magazine.